Hey everyone, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music, it's What Makes This Song Great, episode 34. The band is Muse and the song is Starlight. It's coming up next. Starlight was the second single from Muse's fourth release, Black Holes and Revelations, which came out in 2006. The song was written by lead vocalist Matt Bellamy and was produced and mixed by Rich Costi. The song begins with bass, drums, and a keyboard lead sound. Check it out. Here's bass and drums. It's just on B with the synth playing. Just a B power chord, essentially. So B, F sharp. Uh, B, F sharp, B. Check it out. Then we come in with the piano line. This is really, really a, a powerful but very simple piano figure that really is the hook of the song right here at the beginning. Check it out. The piano melody simply arpeggiates the chords. It begins on the one chord, B major, and it comes down starting on D sharp. And then it goes to C sharp minor, which is the two chord. Then it goes to the six chord. And then it goes to the four chord. And then back to one. This is actually a refreshing change to the standard one, four, five, six chord progression using one, two, six, four. One of the really great things about this melody is that it leads by half step into each chord tone. So it starts on the D sharp, the third of the B major. And then it moves up by half step to the E, which is the third of the C sharp minor. And then it winds back around to the fifth of G sharp minor. And then by half step again, up to the root of the E major. After the piano hook, the vocal melody enters with the verse. Let's take a look at the harmonic analysis of this. Let's check out the melody. So it begins on the ninth of the B major chord. So it goes ninth to the root. Then we go up to C sharp minor, and it goes to the root again of the C sharp minor chord. And then from the 11th to the third, the flat third of the G sharp minor chord. Then we're the sixth of the E major chord. And then ninth to the third of B major. So it's a lot of chord tones and neighbor tones resolving to chord tones. Let's listen to the second half with the music. The starlight, I will be chasing a starlight until the end of my life. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. One thing I want you to pay special attention to is the use of the flat sixth on the G sharp minor chord where he goes, Worth it anymore. That flat six acts almost like a blue note. It gives it a melancholy feel. Anytime you want to get that melancholy feel on a minor chord, you put the flat six in there. It gives you the Aeolian sound. I mean, it could be Phrygian too, because Phrygian has a flat six as well. But this, in this case, it's really an Aeolian sound because it's over the six chord. Let's check out the chorus. <laughs> So one thing I want to point out right off the bat is that we have the piano hook that re-enters here, and you'll notice that he's actually singing longer notes over it to give that melody space to breathe. Listen again. Resolves it. Again. Next, we have the entrance of the electric guitar in the second verse. My love, you my love. Let's 
Now, you'll notice in one spot of this, we have the same melody in, in the second verse, but you listen to the guitar here. He does a similar thing with that flat six. Right there. Da, da. Listen. And he resolves it down to the fifth of the G sharp minor. Second time he doesn't do it. Now we're under the bridge. There's a couple really cool modulations in the bridge. We start out with a 2-5 in B, still in B major. So we got two fives, a C sharp minor to F sharp major, but then we go to a five, uh, five of six, so uh, D sharp major to the G sharp minor, which is a six chord. Then we're to the A major, one, five, D, A. And then we have a, once again, a five, seven of six because we're, we're going back to either G sharp minor or B major, depending on how you want to look at it. There's a really interesting synth part that goes under the bridge melody, and it's arpeggiating the chords. Check it out. C sharp minor. That is, a, so it goes from, and then it comes down. F sharp add nine, and then it goes up. D sharp major. Then it comes down. G sharp minor add nine. Then it goes up A add nine. And it comes down E sus four three. Then the last two chords are A add nine to D sharp seven. Check it out. Then it goes in this really cool That's a very Muse part right there. The bridge guitar part is very U2-esque. Check it out. On a G-sharp minor, it goes to D-sharp sus4, D-sharp major, and then E major. And then it does a Uh, basically a B sus4 chord. Let me play along with it. At the very end of it, there's a, a guitar that comes in, a stereo pair of guitars that come in that do a buildup that's written in. Listen. And they cut off when it re-enters that intro figure again. There's a really cool sidechain synth part that goes along with the guitar. Check it out. Then it goes back to that B5 uh, thing between B and F sharp. Like the intro. Let's take a look at the melody that's happening over this second half of the bridge. Our hopes and expectations, black holes and revelations. And our hopes and expectations. Now we're 
to the regular groove. I haven't talked that much about the groove of the song, but I'm gonna talk about it now. It starts out. Tom groove. With the hand claps. Ba, ba, ba. That's it, pretty much. All the way until you get to the... When you get to the chorus, even, listen. Same thing. Get the second verse, same thing. But the bridge, it changes, listen. Does a snare. With an upbeat kick, right here. Down and up. Then it's back in with a build up fill here. And it, it builds right up until. Up, up. Back to the straight ahead groove. Most of the action in the tune is really happening in the voice, the melody, and the synth parts, and the guitars. Let's take a look at the second half of the bridge melody as I play it. Part that comes in there. Black holes and revelations. In the harmony. And then we're back in the verse groove and right to the chorus. The post bridge chorus has a little different guitar part. Down the octave. Same thing. Use that nice distance there. Really cool when it goes to that A sharp. Really gives it a nice grind having that half step in there in the guitar part. And then we're back to the bridge again. Arpeggios. to the final chorus with a falsetto. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Remember, subscribe to my Instagram, which is at rickbeato1. Thanks for watching.